Hey, what's going on guys? So we'll be taking a look at this kind of thin exact fit case from a company called iPacky. This is just the box that the case comes in. There's nothing too special there. As you can see, it's just a regular box. So throw that off to the side here. And then we have the three things here that actually kind of come inside the packaging. As you can see, we do have this two piece case here, which of course we will uh, look at later on. And then we do have a screen protector accessory kit for installing the included glass screen protector. This here is just the included glass screen protector. It is very nice that they do have a glass screen protector included, which kind of um, makes it so this case does have 360 degree protection, which of course we'll look at. Um, it is kind of a thin exact fit case, like I said. So by including a glass screen protector, they do cover just about every surface on the phone, which is nice. The actual case here is a kind of standard two piece case. I guess I wouldn't really say standard because it's really, really um, thin pieces of plastic. But as you can see, it is a two piece case here like this. And we do have one that kind of uh, snaps on the top and bottom of the foam. And this other one covers the side as you can see here. So we'll go ahead and install the case onto our iPhone 6S here. And installation is very easy. First and foremost, you should put on the uh, top and bottom piece. So it just kind of goes like this. And then it snaps on pretty easily. Like I said, it's not too difficult to get on the phone, but uh, we do have the uh, top piece on here like this. And then we can just go ahead and kind of snap the side piece on as well, which you can do just by pushing it on here like this. And then maybe it's a really thin case and it's like really thin, cheap plastic kind of. So I'm a little worried about breaking it, but um, theoretically you just go like that and then it snaps on and we're good to go. So as you can see here, this is the kind of look you get from the case. It does look very, very good in my opinion. It would look much, much better on a black faced iPhone. However, as you can see, if you look on the front here, it looks kind of funny because you do have this white home button here and then there's this white little piece up here. So if your phone was black, then it would all be black and it would look really, really good in my opinion. As you can see, we still have the silver here. So again, it would look good if it was black. However, I still think it looks decent even on the silver iPhone. This case this does also come in multiple different colors. Unfortunately, it doesn't come in white because if it came in white, it would match everything, but it comes in things like rose gold and things like that, I believe. I'm not entirely sure about that, but I'm pretty sure. Um, however, like I said, it would be nice if it came in white. It would get dirty really easily, but it would match the things on your phone, so that would be kind of nice. Anyway, as you can see, we do have a cutout for our little uh, sensor up at the top. We have a cutout for our camera, cutout for our speaker, cutout for our home button, of course. And on the bottom, we do have pretty good cutouts. It is a thin enough case that you won't really have any problems with the size of either the headphone jack or the lightning port cutout, because even if it was pretty small, you wouldn't really have any problems with it. Because like I said, it's a really, really thin case, so it's not actually coming up much from the phone itself. For the volume rocker as well, we do have a very good cutout. As you can see, um, we do have a cutout for the mute switch and the volume rocker. It is, again, because of the thinness, it's pretty easily to push them and you're actually using the phone's button, so it does feel exactly like the actual iPhone's buttons, because that's a course what you're pushing there's no rubber overlay or anything to change the feel of the buttons which is good because in my opinion the buttons feel the best when they're the kind of stock iphone buttons and then the mute switch is very easy to access just again because of the uh, thinness of the case which is nice as for the back of the phone, we do have a very good cutout for our camera, as well as the little sensor here again, and then the flash. Um, no problems there, and again, because of the thinness of the case, you really don't have any problems even if the cutout was a little off. Um, as you can see, it does have almost 100% protection of the phone. We don't have a cutout for the Apple logo or anything, and there's not a very spacious cutout for the camera, which means that almost everything is protected. Obviously, the camera lens will be a little exposed, and then maybe, like I don't know, the area around the lightning port or the headphone jack but for the most part this case is very very protective from scratches and things like that because it does cover almost the entire phone again a little space there a little space in the home button but if you have something that scratches there you're just really unlucky for the most part like i said it's very very uh, protective if you have a glass screen protector on here as well there are very very few surfaces in which your phone could be scratched that being said the only protection this case really provides is scratch protection if you were to drop your phone i want to say this would be almost like not having a case at all just because the case is very thin kind of cheap plastic so an impact on the corner or something would be almost exactly like dropping your phone regularly, which is unfortunate. However, if you are somebody that doesn't drop their phone very often and just wants scratch protection, this may be a good case for you because it is very thin. It feels almost exactly like the regular iPhone, except I guess it's a different color and it's a kind of rubbery feeling rather than, you know, the glass and metal and all that. But its form factor overall is very, very similar to the actual iPhones because of course it is a very, very thin case and the scratch protection is there. Just drop protection is a little lacking and if that's something you need, then this isn't the case for you. However, if you don't drop your phone very often and just want scratch protection and maybe an interactive case in your opinion, then this could be a very good case for you.
you. So it really depends on the person. Um, it does what it's trying to accomplish pretty well. Like I said, I think it would look better on a black iPhone because the white looks kind of funny with some very glowing white pieces. So I definitely would recommend it more if you have a black faced iPhone, but it's totally up to you. If you think this looks okay, then you can go with it. I think that is pretty much it. Before I leave, I'll go ahead and show you how to take the case off of the phone because in many case reviews, people want me to do that. So um, to do that, we can simply kind of put our finger in the little space here and you can just kind of peel it off like that. And then you get the uh, top piece off here like this pretty easily. And then you can um, push on this side or whatever side you want. And then it should release this piece like this. I guess I wouldn't start with the mute switch side actually. I'd start with this other side. So we'll go ahead and do this side first and then kind of push it over the home button and then it slaps off of the other side really easily and then your phone is free. So it is a relatively easy case to uh, take on and off despite how kind of thin and form fitting it is. It seems like because of how well it fits the iPhone it would be difficult to remove but it actually isn't too bad. So yeah, anyway, this has been my review of this ultra thin iPacky 360 degree protective case. Like I said, this case does come in multiple colors so if you want a color different than black, you're able to select it. And if you are wanting to purchase this product, then of course you can use the link in the description. The link is always there so you can go ahead and click on that link, it'll bring you to the Amazon listing and then you can make your purchase. If you would like to see more videos very similar to this one, then you can feel free to subscribe. I do have a bunch of reviews on my channel, including other iPhone 6S and 6 case reviews. If you'd like this video in particular, then a like rating is always appreciated. If you'd like to see more videos very similar to this one, then feel free to subscribe. This has been Jordan with Joe Reviews. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next review.